Guys, happy Mother's Day. Moms are great, and we love them, and you should love your mom, and you should tell her how great she is, and that she likes really cool things, like Gone with the Wind. Gone with the wind. Gone with the wind. As requested by my mom. That's my mom's favorite book too, so this is working out pretty well. Our moms like a good romantic southern novel. Gone with the Wind is about this girl named Scarlett O'Hara. A little flippity. She says things like fiddle dee dee. My G golly. I'll think about that tomorrow. The O'Hara family lives in Tara. Tara with his green rolling fields. They have swimming pools, five or six different bathrooms, so everyone gets to powder their nose at different times of the day. Scarlett's got her sights set on Ashley Wilkes, not a girl. It's pretty typical for Southern men back before the Civil War to have girly names. Brittany, Jessica, Sally, Southern Jim. Ashley's having this party at his estate. Scarlett corners him. You and me, we're gonna get married because we're compatible. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See, here's the thing. I'm marrying my cousin Melanie, who is angelic and pure. You are just unpredictable. Scarlett's like, what? You let me on, Ashley. How dare you? And she slaps him. See, that's why I'm not marrying you. You're like irrational. Who just slaps people? Scarlett like slaps her mom, slaps her dad, slaps her sister. She slaps herself. Ridiculous. He storms off. She's really upset. Who is lurking in the shadows, drinking a mint julep, being like, oh, wasn't that a saucy bit of business? I won't tell anyone. Brett Butler, known to be a scallywag and a scoundrel. Now do well, if you will. The kind of man who has a very pencil thin mustache and super slicked back greasy hair, kind of the John Waters of the South. She's like, oh, I'm gonna slap you. You're a scoundrel, you're a rogue. Get away from me, Red Butler. And I'll never talk to you again. I won't even marry you or have your child. I won't do that. There's an announcement. Hey, we're going to war against the Yankees. Scarlett's husband, Melanie's brother, gets pneumonia and dies. Yeah, because back then, the way they treated pneumonia is they just sawed off your leg. Chicken soup hadn't been invented yet, so they would just saw off legs. And then, you know, you bleed to death because you need your legs. And so Scarlett's mom's like, leave your home, leave Tara, go to Atlanta, stay with your Aunt Pity Pat, who is a very eccentric, old Southern lady who faints upon any any scandalous information. Oh, oh, my salts, where are my smelling salts? So she's in mourning. She's not supposed to be hanging out. Gets invited to this party and she's like, well, I'm gonna go. Just cause my husband's dead doesn't mean I am. I'm gonna party like it's 1899. I'm gonna tear one off. And was like, you shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be here. You should be in mourning. Oh, gosh. You're supposed to be cloistered like a nun. Who else is there but none other than the scoundrel, Mr. Rhett Butler, who decides to place a bid on Scarlet to be able to dance with her. He spends like a lot of money. With inflation, he probably spent like five grand, which to them is like two years salary because they made like 10 cents a week back then. I. That's how money works. At this point, the war is not going very well for the South. So poorly, in fact, that the city of Atlanta, like, catches on fire. Not catches on fire. It, it didn't just, it, it wasn't like a cow kicked over a candle. Scarlett and Melanie are in Atlanta when things are going bad and Melanie's pregnant. So Scarlett and uh, their maid Prissy are there while Melanie's sick. Scarlett's like, Prissy, go find someone to help. Prissy runs into Mr. Butler. Mr. Butler, we need you to help. Scarlett's gonna deliver the baby. Melanie's sick. Everyone's gonna die. Wright's like, I'm a scoundrel. I'm a southern rogue. Prissy, have you ever seen Star Wars Rogue One? In this one, we ain't gonna die. I'll figure it out. They get out of the city. It's it, Everything's cool. Scarlett's like, uh, let's go back to Terra. Let's hang out there. Wright's like, ah, suddenly have an insurgence of Southern pride, I'm gonna fight off these Yankees. You'll see, I'm gonna win this war yet. Get back to Terra by your own self. Go on, skedaddle. So she's like, how dare you, you, you scoundrel. I hate you, I hate you. Listen, Scarlet, um, before I die, like, I'm gonna kiss you. He like holds her real close and she's looking up at him. Fun fact, Clark Gable, who played Rhett Butler in the movie version, had halitosis and Vivian Leigh was seen constantly vomiting on his face. So they go to Tara, her dad stumbles out. I've gone mad! Your mother's died of the typhoid fever! 
save her. She's dead. Dead as a doornail. I could really use something to eat right now. We don't have any food, Kitty Scarlet. And so she stops in one of the fields. And she digs up a carrot. She starts like eating it, and it's gross because it's like moldy and covered in dirt. And she stands up in defiance and says. Fiddle Dee Dee! I'm gonna do anything to help my family survive, cause I'm Scarlet O'Hara and I'm through not caring about things. As God is my witness, I shall never go hungry again. And then she vomits from the moldy carrot. Gone with the Wind is a story about Cage's Scarlet O'Hara. <laughs> Was that Irish? It was great. That was the best. Katie Scarlet O'Hara. Katie Scarlet O'Hara. Katie Scarlet O'Hara.